what is going on everyone welcome to the beautiful state of texas as you just saw from the first or from the intro actually it is snowing outside in sun city el paso we rarely get snow here probably like once twice a year but today what we'll be doing is well first off is the setup check out the podcast link in the description or just go to the first channel the main channel and then all right so first off let's start off by showing you my snake collection here and we'll do that by taking off the clips first so i'll be back in a bit all right everyone i'm back and we got all the clips off i'll be showing you the collection now so first off let me tell you before i start getting comments like oh what do you have what all right so for this one the pastel clown and the boa constrictor i don't have water and i'll tell you once i get to them all right, so first off, let's start off with the breeders. So in here I have Medusa and Lucy. Medusa, the, the big breeder over here, the, the girl. And then we got Lucy, the male. Uh, the reason his name is Lucy is because when I first bought him, I thought he was a girl. I was still new to the breeding process, to the whole snake thing. He was my first snake. So that's why he's also the only one with the glass tank well actually they all have glass tanks that they came with because i buy them off of craigslist or uh or the facebook reptile page but uh yeah that's a, one of the only reasons why i bring these guys with uh i just i don't know it's a lot of work with the glass cages it seems easier and more comfortable with the rack system. I don't know. It's up. It's up to everyone's taste, I guess. Alright, so this is Lucy's enclosure. The vivarium. Got some springtails in the soil so we can get some isopods. Well, we'll get that in once we get that in. And then, right, let's go over to the rack system. So, in here, we got Medusa, as we just said earlier. I changed their water, changed their bedding. Gotta make sure everything's clean for the laying part of the breeding season. I already have the incubator that I bought, I believe, last month. Yeah, I bought it last month. I got some vermiculite that came with it. I don't think it's enough though, so I'm gonna have to buy just a bit more. And then, yeah, this is Medusa, the big breeder male, and Lucy, the big, well, not big, but the breeder male. I mean, female, male, female, male. Don't get that confused. Alright, so this is the pastel clown. I don't know why he's chilling out here. He's usually chilling in there, or he's just back there. But today, he wants to say hello, I guess. And the reason, like I said, why I don't have water with them, because you saw I have water with this one, and I have water with the rest of them. Well, actually, like I said, this one and the boa. I'll get to them later. The reason I don't have water is because, as you can see here, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, I can just find it. Let me just see, let me just see. Right there. You saw the little spot, a little brown spot right there. It has scale rot. So I'm gonna have to make sure everything is dry in the cage, let it shed, get rid of the scale rod once. I think I believe, um, bleh, I believe it takes about two sheds for like to take all that stuff off. Really, all you gotta do is just leave, make sure the cage is dry, and it'll get rid of the scale rod by itself. Unless it gets serious, so then that's when you like you have to get all that fancy stuff. Alright, so in here we have the GHI pewter. It seems like I did a poop over here. For those of you that watch Chandler, the spicy meatball. So let's see. It's in here, as you can see. There we go. This one's uh, by far one of my favorite ones. This one would be number two in my favorite snakes. Number two. And then, it's beautiful really. Uh, this one and that and the, the pastel clown came together. I bought them both for quite a great offer, actually. These go on Morph Market. I believe they go for 450 by themselves, and they can go up to like 700 dollars. 
or 600 I believe I saw I don't remember the uh, this because this is a GHI pewter and then Paso Clown is like $350 by itself and I got them both for $450 so this is, Be so this is Beavis the GHI pew fuck I sorry about that so I got uh, JJ Pewter, Beavis, and then Butthead, the Pastel Clown. And then over here we got the Mojave, or Athena. She's real grumpy. She doesn't like me around her. She's real defensive, I'll tell you that. Ever since I got her, I got her off of Morph Market. Came here, biting. <laughs> I took her out of the fucking bag. She was biting already. She she does not like me and she seems to be out of water. Let me give her some water. Ooh, don't drop it. Alright. We got some water with her. Now we're all good. And the reason why I have this in the middle of the cage is because like I said, she's real grumpy. I recently put this in to see if she would calm down, make her feel more secure in a smaller space. For those of you, probably those PETA people out there, uh, they need big enclosures. No, they don't. They feel more secure in smaller spaces. These are snakes, not tigers. <laughs> I, even then, I'm not really sure about tigers. But snakes, they feel a lot more secure in smaller spaces than they do in big spaces. They feel... How do I say? They feel... They feel vulnerable in big spaces. Alright, so this is the boa constrictor. And the reason is... Right, no water, like I said, no water for this one. Uh, he gets most of his water from his the rats that I give him. I soak them, and I don't dry them. I just leave them all wet. They, he eats like that to make sure he gets some water. Because whenever I give him water, he just knocks it all off. As you can see, like the the towels are like all crumbled up. He got them a bit wet last time. I put I put just a little bit of water last time. And as you can see, no water. He does this every time. I don't know why. He just likes to knock his water down. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you the last snake that I have. And then we'll talk about the snake that should be coming in. That'll go into this rack. But first, let me put the clips on. All right, we have the clips on. It's all secure. We're good to go. Let me just go ahead and show you what we got with the pastel. No. No. Super, yeah, super pastel spider. All right, she's in here. I just got her about four days ago. Five, five, four. Doesn't matter. I got her this week, last week. Yeah, four days ago. It was four days ago. All right, so this is the super pastel spider. I believe she may have some banana in there. I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll contact someone see if they. If they can find out for me. Uh, I got her off of Facebook. This one, Facebook. Uh, she's in quarantine right now. I'll leave her in quarantine for about a month. And then I'll move the boa to a bigger enclosure. And then I'll move this one into the rack system. And then we'll get... Uh, oh, no water as well. She, the one I bought her, her enclosure over here. Uh... Not the cleanest of enclosures. She has a bit of scale rot on her. So I'm trying to make sure, as you can see, even the water, it's all gunky. I gotta clean this entire thing out. Make sure. I'll probably use it to get to use it. I'll probably buy an axolotl and put it in there. Maybe in there. I have enough cages. I'll buy an axolotl though. I wanna buy an axolotl. <laughs> Alright, so. No water. Scale rot. Gotta make sure she says, sheds that off. I don't want skill rot on my snakes. So I'll breed this one to the GHA pewter. And the last cage over here is we, the last enclosure is, it's all set up, ready to go. We have the water dish. And uh, it should be coming in next week or the last week of, what month are we on? Of February. February. I don't know. Yeah, it should be coming in, I believe, the 26th or the 25th. It's going to be a blue-eyed leucistic. I'm trying to... I'm looking on the market to buy a breeder-ready lesser or maybe even butter so I can get some white snakes. Because a blue-eyed lucy, for those of you that don't know, 
it's a white snake with blue eyes. You can get more white snakes with blue eyes by breeding into a lesser or a butter. Eh, simple. Or a russo, you know, fancy stuff. But yeah, this should be it. We have everything down, all the snakes that I have at the moment. I used to have a uh, monitor but that uh but i had pneumonia when i bought it died about a week after took him to the vet give him you can see here my cell the syringes gave him medications and everything didn't work died a week after i bought him so yeah that should be it uh, i'm saving up though trying to get a a nerd water monitor try and get that black dragon but yeah this should be it for this video if you guys did enjoy, please subscribe. Check out the podcast. As we said earlier, the boys are on there. And that should be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And there will be more soon. Because I want to bring you guys along with the breeding process. And how big I get. Let's see where it goes.